Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I have a unboxing and as you can tell, I was so excited that I almost did it without you guys. And uh, so what I'm going to do is open up what I've just received yesterday and then I realized that I wanted to share it with you. So I know what it is. You guys don't know what it is. Um, but I want to do the reveal with you um, if you're new to my channel thank you for checking out the channel thank you for stopping by talk about then things that are if i can slow down in my excitement stationary related and fountain pens um mostly and so this is one of those stationary items that i'm going to be unboxing today if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for all the love and support that i've been receiving it's been great and thank you guys for the feedback on the eight pin questions um that was probably one of the most successful YouTube videos I've done to date. Okay, so a little bit of ASMR here. This is one item, so it's not, um, there's not a whole lot to it, um, but that is it. And I ordered from a new place that I've never ordered before. Um, and so really fast shipping, really happy with this. Um, the announcement came out as you can tell it is a traveler's notebook um the announcement came out that they were releasing the olive edition and that's exactly what this is i used to own an italian greyhound bless my little nina she's no longer with me but i love this sticker um so this was from flax pen to paper is where i placed the order from um off of the site and this is the much wanted and anticipated for me uh traveler's notebook and olive when it came out i want to say like five six years ago i was going to get one for my sister because green is her favorite color and she's like no you know leather's too heavy when you travel and she has a point it is heavy when you travel unless you're doing it kind of domestically by car or train or some some motor like that but if you're you know like me i tend to like want to take all the things sometimes so it does get heavy but this is the olive edition and I know I'm not the first YouTuber who's done the unveil, but I wasn't going to, I was almost going to try to get this on Etsy and the market price on Etsy for like the original release was like over 200 US dollars. And I was like, that'll be a no. Hopefully they'll re-release it and they are re-releasing it. So sorry for the camera adjustments here. I just want to make sure you guys get a really good shot of this. Typical traveler's notebook. This time we have like a bluish green um, extra band, which I absolutely love. And this is an extra band too, so I gotta remember to take that out and cast this to the side. So we've got two spare Traveler's Notebook bands, and I actually think this green will look really good on the camel that I have. Um, so I my original Traveler's Notebook back in the day when I got my very first one was black and I liked it but I wasn't really using it and then they came out with camel no then they came out with navy and I really wanted navy and I was going to Europe and I went to Berlin and there was one store that still had the navy um, and I snatched it up when I was in Berlin and you know I was kind of disappointed with the leather on the navy I, I really like that suede texture that the camel has so let me know if you're a suede texture traveler's notebook kind of person or if you like the harder leather harder leather or not as as soft and this is if i can get it open the olive oh it's so pretty oh it's awesome um it's really really i mean you know they're all the same on the inside it's not like you get pockets or configuration it's but it's just like it's a beautiful green dark green olivey um, leather cover. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, so this looks like almost like a mushroom, um, almost brown, but it's green. You can tell it's green. And this has a very, for me, a suede texture. Um, and I'm kind of glad this is not on the outside because I do think this would attract a lot of um, dirt and oil really really quick whereas the outside here is just gonna this is just gonna get really I'm gonna just kind of tilt this so you can kind of see it given the light right now because it's towards the end of the day um, 
it's got a really beautiful green leather I look forward to it getting scuffed up and roughed up and traveling with it um, and it has the one insert to it now I also have another I probably at this point by the time you see this one you might see that I've unboxed another one or one will be getting unboxed as well and that's a limited edition that I was able to get that I wasn't thinking that I was going to be able to get and I got my hands on it so I've got brown and I've got green and I've got camel and I've got navy and I'm done <laughs> I think I've got more than enough uh, travelers notebooks but I did I do like utilizing these and I'm going to probably um, in 2024 start utilizing these a little bit more fully for like regular journaling and note keeping versus um, some other system at least right now that's my thought right now at this moment in 2023 so I'm really looking forward to being able to travel with this one because sometimes my camel one I just don't want to I just love my camel one so much I just don't want it to get kind of uh, scuffed up too much I think this is stuck yep and there's a little um, string so I do have I do have uh, a accoutrement for this um, journal and I actually do need to take this out and put my charm on it. Hold on a second, let me go get it. Okay, I'm back. Um, I found my um, charms, but I also wanted to show you the camel. Um, the blue one I have put up because I have already kind of put that out of commission for now. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with my blue one. I might get rid of that one. All of I've heard is going to now be part of the regular collection. So if you didn't get the olive one and all of a sudden there, it sells like hotcakes, do not despair. <laughs> it will now be part of the regular Traveler's Notebook lineup. So they will have camel, they will have this olive color, they will have the navy blue, and they'll have black, which is a really good range of colors. Um, you know variation on on the covers will happen as as it occurs with age but um, this one is very suede kind of feeling I don't know if you can really see me kind of making the pelt of the leather kind of go darker to lighter I was kind of hoping for that for this one but it is softer and it seems like it's I mean harder but it doesn't seem as hard as the navy blue one does and that's just my experience for what I received I think it might vary very by user by what they get and what's available so I will always do that um, I'm getting ready to go on a very short trip I plan on taking um, my uh, traveler's notebook with me for journaling purposes and sketching purposes I started this one um, let's see here I started this one in 2022 I'm gonna still utilize it in 2023 because I want to get rid of that so I will switch this one out for the new one and I also have a couple of inserts additional inserts but this trip is so short that I'm only going to take one insert because I really do want to um, get through this current one and oops got to take my charm that's sitting on the end of my string off and I like to put a charm at the end of this and stick one along the middle section so it looks like I got this a little bit backwards so it's like this and then here's the charm on the bottom um, <clears throat> this one I'm going to keep more simplistic and I'm going to just do the one notebook on this trip because it is like I said a very short turnaround I'm going to keep the string for now uh, charm free and I will go ahead and put one of these charms let's see which one I've got this one and I still have my other like I said my other um, special edition one or this one I think I might put onto this one with the coffee cup so I think I'm going to get that one I bought both of these off of Etsy and this one came with my special edition with the suitcase on it so I'll leave that one for the brown one that I have and I also have, which I will eventually decide to do, is I bought some uh, additional inserts. And this one is from Good Ink Impressions. Um, she's based out of Europe. Um, I think this one is just Tomo River paper in a grid. I've got different um, configurations from her that I wanted to use because, like I said, next year, next year I do want to, oops, this is sticking. 
I do want to actually use these more than I've been using them in the past because I do like I do like the size and I, I do like how you can kind of configure it differently so this one is a curry she was nice enough to provide a book dart and this is just um, graph Tomo River paper so there's that one and then paper penguin co I asked her to put a special cover design that she had on some of her other ones which she was more than willing to accommodate um, and I got this one which is onion skin paper which I will probably actually put into this so it's gonna only have the two inserts like so and that's probably what I'm going to do. But for now, for now, I'm going to keep it simple and only have this one insert for this very short trip that's coming up. And let me go ahead and stick my charm on it. And this is probably about the extent of the customization that I'm going to have for this particular one. Take that off. See if I can get this done relatively quickly. These things always kind of trip me up when I'm trying to do these unknottings of the string. So in the interim, what has everyone been up to? The spring has actually sprung um, in the DMV. We're actually having very nice weather and I can't complain about that. It's just been absolutely really, really gorgeous. Uh, do that like this so I can make sure I get this uh, done the right way okay that was not too difficult because sometimes it is a challenge um, and fountain pen wise I've been fairly good about not buying fountain pens other than the ones that you've already seen so I've been kind of trying to not get uh, too wrapped up in buying new ones. Although I did buy one, but you won't see that until much later in the year. And that is it. So um, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, I have released a little bit of housekeeping. I have released a D-stash. Um, I have that D-stash as well on my Instagram feed, which I'll put down below. Um, if you're interested in any of them, please let me know. It's right now the end of April when I'm filming this. I have to go to a memorial service this weekend, so I will try to get to um, all the requests for the pins and buying at the very uh, next week. I'll try to get to that. So the very last week of April, early May, I should probably be able to um, get those pins sent out to anyone. Um, if you've been trying to reach me and you're not having any luck, leave a comment below and I'll try to reach out to you through um, YouTube as well. So until then, stay safe. Um, have a really great weekend or a great day, depending on what time of, of the uh, week that you're looking at this. And um, I will talk to you next time. All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs>